Your Honor, dear workshop participants, my name is Kjetil Kjernsmo and I'm um, a PhD uh, student at the University of Oslo in Norway. I initiated this uh, workshop and I have partly organized it, but unfortunately I couldn't make it myself. So I'm uh, giving my testimony by a pre-recorded video. Ever since Karl Popper struggled to create what he called a demarcation criterion between what is science and what is not, this topic has been hotly debated in philosophy of science. Uh, by accusing benchmarking of being, un being unscientific, this is uh, exactly the problem that the prosecution is uh, getting into. Uh, Popper suggested falsifiability as our guide. Has an assertion been formulated so that it's possible to refute it? That's what we call falsifiability ability and um, it's been held as a high standard. Paul Feuerabend on the other hand argued that um, this has this is not how science has been done in practice. Uh, he quipped that falsificationism would destroy science as we know it. However to judge benchmarking I don't think we need to dig too deep into the philosophy of science. Uh, benchmarking doesn't even have a structured approach to investigate methodological flaws uh, usually no summary statistics to investigate overall performance, no methodology to formulate testable hypotheses, and pragmatically can only deal with a small number of parameters. At the very least, we need to be able to formulate the hypothesis we can test, uh, to say that we do science. And all of the problems have to be solved to do that. Science doesn't necessarily progress by proving that certain theories or methodologies are are flawed, it might progress just because most practitioners realize that there is something better. I cannot prove that uh, you cannot adopt benchmarking to enable proper hypothesis testing. Uh, however, I think that once you try, you will find that you require finer methodologies from statistics and you'll realize that they are already much better developed than benchmarking. I think it's worth noting how much effort other fields are putting into designing experiments. Just one of the experiments at CERN required hundreds of PhDs just before it went online. We also need to make designing experiments a worthy pursuit in itself. It should be possible for a PhD student to focus solely on an experimental design. As a PhD student, I do not feel that's the case now. I cannot come up with a clear demarcation criterion that shows benchmarking to be unscientific in all future forms, but I think that beyond reasonable doubt, its current shortcomings are so severe that clearly methods from, for example, the statistical field of design of experiments will serve us much better. Therefore, I think that benchmarking should be declared unscientific, and benchmarking should be de delegated to the role of an engineering tool, a role it still performs very well. Thank you very much.